Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, we're going to take a look at your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. All right. Now if these messages resonate with you, my dear Aries... I'm going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and see what messages come through for you regarding love and romance and the person that you're energetically, romantically linked to. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my dearest Aries regarding the person they're energetically, romantically linked to. All right, so your energy is the Four of Cups in reverse, and you're viewing your person as the Ten of Cups in reverse, so some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and you're viewing the connection as the Tower in reverse. Okay, so somebody here could be avoiding the other person. Ooh, Aries, they're showing up as the Emperor, so you, this may be your Divine Masculine. They're viewing you as the Eight of Wands. Ooh, this person is manifesting you, Aries. You might be avoiding them right now, <laughs> or maybe you have been. And the Five of Swords, your person wants to heal things. Queen of Cups, there is a love offer coming in, or there's a lot of love between you. But something has happened here, Aries, with the Ace of Cups in reverse, where that heart chakra is blocked, or it feels like there's a missed opportunity, but the magician has been showing up in a lot of readings lately, and this is absolutely a nod to Mercury retrograde, which we are in right now. But what I'm seeing here is that this person, I feel, is manifesting you in a very big way. They want to heal things. They're looking right at you, Aries. For some of you, you might be avoiding this person. Um, maybe they weren't emotionally available in the past, and so you pulled your energy back. You see them as your Ten of Cups in reverse, your, your, your wish fulfillment, but there's something here that's causing the separation. And it may be this Prince of Cups in reverse energy. Somebody here maybe wanted to play the field or was, you know, drinking their own tears or wanted to be indulged. And it feels like maybe your person has had a change of heart here, Aries. Four of Cups in reverse, more than anything, I'm getting that your person just doesn't want to miss this opportunity with you. But I do feel there was something about the relationship or about the way things were going between you and this person that wasn't working for you. It wasn't giving enough. And with the Four of Cups in reverse, it takes us back to the Three of Cups. I feel some of my Aries, you've used all of your strength and courage to sort of move in a different direction. This person, who that has activated the cord between you and them. Look at you in your glory with the Fool card. Many of you, you're dealing with another Aries or a cardinal sign. So that could be Cancer, Capricorn, Aries, or Libra. But wow. Wow, both of you have this have very similar energies. You're ready for something new. You're ready to take a risk. And maybe this person wasn't ready to give up the single life and you said, fine, boom, I'm out. I'm gonna, you know, I'll play the field. I'll go do my thing. But this person, I just love how this emperor is looking over at you like, oh, not so fast. I'm not gonna let you go so fast. So I do think um, there's something about this connection that was quite disappointing here with the Ten of Cups in reverse. You might feel like your person was a little bit selfish, um, or they weren't, you know, they weren't giving you the stability that you're looking for. Yeah. And this, this is what I'm seeing is that this was heartbreaking for you because many of you, you saw potential. Um, this may be a connection that recently started, like started and stopped, um, or it may have been somebody that you were with for quite some time that you gave a lot of time. Um, or chances to to move forward, and they may not have wanted to do that. But I, I definitely see this energy, this thread throughout this reading where Aries, you've taken your strength and your courage to move in a different direction. You said what you meant, and this person, they, I, I think they didn't think you would actually move away from them. And now that you have pulled your energy back, they are seeing you differently. So you could be avoiding this person, yeah, but you also see, you also see 
and want to work it out with them with the tower aries and scorpio energy wow we've got three aries cards showing up here um, many of you with the tower card in reverse you know there's something that needs to change and like like i've said already a few times in this reading and i apologize for the repetition but it feels like maybe your person didn't want to have a serious relationship or they didn't want um, to offer you some sort of commitment or they were the ones they weren't pulling their weight um, or they wanted to be indulged and I feel that yeah I feel that with a very heavy heart my Aries you walked away from this person or you told them off or whatever but I do see with the three of pentacles that you do want to work things out um, but you might and and with good reason because the energy that I'm picking up on here is that they've got to come in and do that work so you're dealing with an emperor here somebody who's strategic who may be my way or the highway but they also do want to show up um, they want to show up for you, um, but they have a, quite a strong ego and that creates conflict. And again, both of you might sort of butt heads at times because I do I do feel that you both have Aries energy or you both might be cardinal signs and cardinal signs sort of want to take the lead. So somebody here has got to, you know, you've got to reunite in the air of compromise, but I do feel that your person um, definitely is maybe ignoring you right now or just they may be holding back and it's it's all ego it is also possible that your person was getting a lot of attention from other people and they didn't kind of want to give that up or that caused a fight or an argument but they're viewing you as the eight of wands they're manifesting you back yeah and this person's going to offer you some sort of commitment for some of my Aries this person the thought of losing you or the possibility of losing you is forcing them to and not forcing in a manipulative or demanding way but they're seeing you as somebody they don't want to give up on they don't want to miss this opportunity and um, for some of you they're going to be making some sort of marriage proposal or they are going to be making some sort of commitment some of you you may have a child with this person okay or children um, but they they're manifesting some sort of higher level of commitment here with you Aries now of course it could be your energy if you're not quite ready for commitment um, but this person that's exactly what they want but their ego is getting in the way um, and they see you as their divine counterpart, so they may see you as their empress or emperor. Um, but they definitely see you as a soulmate and as a divine counterpart. And the relationship, five of swords in reverse, they want to heal things. And yeah, wow, they're, this has been very painful for them. They're actually way more in their head than you might realize. And I think they're really worried that... Um, that it's over or that you won't take them back or you won't hear them out and that you've moved on maybe some of my areas you have moved on but this person hasn't the only thing that's like holding them back seems to be their ego and that's I mean that's a big deal right so the queen of cups so we do see this watery energy coming through cancer scorpio pisces but i also feel too you're going to get some sort of love offer there is love here and i feel both of you might be holding on and holding back your person is definitely holding back and like i said i've said like three times already <laughs> um that you know this person is um it's their ego it's their ego um so but they're holding back and they want stability. There's stability in this connection if you want it. And we see those three of pentacles in this little box. He's holding the fourth one. But we also see here three of pentacles. So I do see there's a lot of potential for you two to get on the same page and to work things out. Because there is love here. And remember love can conquer and heal and transform all things. I'm kind of seeing two people that both really want to be together. But somebody here or both of you may have a little bit of a blocked heart chakra, okay? And that's that can be an, an inability to receive love. Um, it can be a lack of self-compassion um, or just feeling like both of you are feeling this lack or this sense that something is missing since you're not together. And spirit saying, you know, with the six of swords, you can leave that heartache and that loss in the past. For some of you, now you may decide to move on from this person, okay, if their ego is just getting in the way or, or they don't come in with an apology um, or they can't sort of be accountable for their actions because I do feel they need to come in and put in the work here. Uh, I feel like you, you are willing to, but I feel like many of my areas you have already enough. Um, and with the Six of Swords, I do see that you can peacefully move into new waters. Um, some of my areas, maybe you already have moved on with somebody else. Um, but for a lot of you connecting with this reading, I feel like this is a new cycle in love for the two of you. And you're both mirroring each other. You're both disappointed. I think you're both kind of heartbroken here. And with the Magician card, this is manifestation. So your person's definitely manifesting you. 
Um, but there's that struggle, the five of the five of wands. There are going to be challenges. Um, and I do think that maybe you guys need to hash things out, have some tough conversations. But from where I'm standing, it feels really good. Like it feels like it may be difficult and you may have to, you know, somebody here or both of you may have to take the ego and put it to the side if you want to work this out, but you absolutely can. Now, the Knight of Swords in reverse tells me that there may not be any communication. I'm also seeing with the Prince of Cups and the Knight of Swords both in reverse that, you know, the way that things ended between you or your argument might have gotten a little bit nasty. Um, maybe there was some, you know, a little bit of below the belt, um, you know, shots taken. All right. So I do feel that, again, it's really important that, you know, we're accountable here for the things that we do and we say and that your person, if they owe you an apology, that they really give it to you. Um, because I do see that there may have been, there may have been some drama. And if I'm not mistaken, in my last couple of Aries readings, I think there has been some high drama. And I do see that this person sees a future with you. They want to heal things. I think they're grieving a lot more than they let on. Um, but their ego is the only thing that's sort of holding them back. There is love here. So Aries, you decide if, if that's good enough in the way they come back to you. Um, you know, make sure you don't sweep anything under the rug. Don't ignore red flags. So we see selling out and we see inner child. Okay. Some of you, you do have a child with this person. Um, and for some of you, I'm getting, there may have been some issues here with like either with child support or with them pulling their weight. Um, some of you may have felt like you were taking care of two children. Like if you have a child with this person and this person just wasn't showing up, although they are an emperor energy, but they're, you know, like I said, they may have just sort of not been pulling their weight or being accountable in this connection. So some of my Aries, this is what I get with the selling out energy. So important that you're very clear on what it is you want, what your expectations are, and not to lower your expectations um, or your standards, okay? Um, because I do feel that if you do that, you won't be satisfied within this connection. I also feel it's really important when we're making tough decisions that we do check in with that child self of ours to see if he or she or they feel protected um, and safe with this person and in this connection, okay? Because there has been some sort of tower moment. And if you have children, again, I know that, you know, you out there listening, you do put your children first, but to also really think about what, you know, think about how they're being affected by this. Um, by this connection, if that if that comes into play, um, there's something that I saw on TikTok some some time ago, and I love it. I love it. It was saying that the only two people, there are only two people in this world, Aries, that we need to make happy, and it's not our spouse, it's not our parents, it's not our children. I mean, to a degree, yes, but um, there are only two people. It's our eight year old self and our eighty year old self. So that's what they're telling me. Would your eight year old eight year old self be happy with this person in this connection? And would your eighty year old self be happy with your decision to heal things with this person? Um, so nice little nice little tidbit of information there. I think. So your person is being patient. Your person absolutely does want to heal things, Aries. They do. And they're being patient. They're being strategic. Yeah, you feel like home to them. And for many of them, they want to come home to you. And I'm just picking up on like definitely a lot of you have children with this person or you had a home or have a home or you will be moving in together, um, letting go. But, you know, we have to let go and let go of the past. And that's going to be really important to see. Can you let go of what has happened here? Um, to heal this because for some of you again this person there were red flags or their ego was getting in the way they wouldn't apologize they weren't accountable or they weren't showing up for you the way that you needed them to so is that something that they've transformed are they willing to let go of you know maybe the single life or getting attention elsewhere or you know they need to really prioritize you and this connection um, so again it's gonna can you let go of what has been said and done here all right, Aries. Interesting. All right, let's see what your person would like to say to you. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my Aries regarding their person. All right, we get, I miss seeing you. So they're definitely missing you. And you were the best thing in my life. Yep. And they're realizing that this person, for a lot of you, this person absolutely is. They are holding back right now. They've got to work through that ego, but they are not going to let you go so quickly. And they're realizing how they've messed up. It's time for me to heal now and I hide my feelings. Yeah, and this is what they need to work through. I also feel Aries, it's about, you know, you healing 
And it's also about, you know, being authentic. If this person can unblock that throat chakra and apologize or tell you what they want, what they feel. Um, and I want to start over. Absolutely. This person's coming back around. Give them time. You may not be surprised. Um, you may or may not be surprised that they come around. Okay. Yeah, but they're being patient and maybe they're working on themselves is what I'm getting because we do see at the center of the reading the Six of Swords healing. Um, maybe you just need some time and some distance to, to see things from a higher perspective and they do as well. All right, so we get change. So this relationship is definitely changing. That dragonfly is also telling me that things are going to be coming to light. So I do see you having quite an intense conversation. It may be challenging. There may be a little bit of drama there, but I do see you working, at least unblocking the throat chakra and, and letting each other know how you're feeling. Gratitude. Yeah, I think this person, you were the best thing in my life. They're realizing everything that you gave them, Aries. Um, be grateful for, you know, blessings and our challenges. We grow and expand through them. And there is magic here. So I love this energy because we do have this full moon, lunar eclipse and Scorpio coming up. So this is might be when you're hearing from this person. Um, I do think that... Um, this is this is this person may even be doing whether you believe in this or not, but they may be doing manifestation spells, candle spells, um, but just trying to win you back. And and I feel that they're going to take those real steps to do that. And power. So remember that you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. But I also feel this is a testament to the powerful connection that you two share. Okay. So yeah, it's definitely it's definitely complicated energy, Aries. Um. But we get sacred union, so honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. I feel like this person, and, and it's going to be different for all of you, but I feel you didn't feel this person was honoring this relationship or treasuring it the way that they should have. And they may you may have been feeling like they were taking you for granted. Um, they're seeing that now. That's what I'm getting very clearly. And I do think for a lot of you, they're rec recognizing that, they, that you are their person. Um... So stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So I definitely feel you might be manifesting them. They're definitely manifesting you back and forgiveness, you know, allow, you know, forgive yourself and another so that you can move forward, um, letting go of the past so that you two can come together or, um, or not. Okay. And spirit saying, yep, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Yeah. Beautiful. I like this because I do feel that there's, there is, there has been, or there have been some serious fights or arguments or some drama between the two of you. So I'm just going to re repeat this. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. If you want it to transform, Aries, it's all over this reading. Um, we see reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. And that's what I feel. I do feel you two are on a break or a separation and you're both getting, you're detaching and you're going to see clearly the truth of this situation. And from, from many of my Aries connecting with this reading, it is a reconciliation or a coming back together or a resolution of problems. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, share and subscribe. Also check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Aries. Take care.